brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. He's admitted to abusing boys on Guam because he thought it made them happy. This is Father Louis Brouillard in a phone interview with KUAM back in August 2016. Did you molest some boys? Yeah. You did? Do you know how many? No. Did you molest some boys while being a priest on Guam? Yeah. Do you remember a boy named Leo Tudela? No, I don't remember him. Do you remember or have any estimation of how many boys you may have molested while on Guam? Oh, I don't have recollection of the number, no. Leo Tudela was the first to accuse Brilliard of clergy sexual abuse. Dozens of others followed. Some accusers reported the former Guam priest and scoutmaster for the Boy Scouts forced them to swim naked on swimming trips. Others reported he took nude photos of them and forced them to watch pornography and look at adult magazines. Others have accused him of rape and other sexual acts. Brouillard, according to a press release out of the Archdiocese of Agania, died on Wednesday or Thursday Guam time in Minnesota at 97 years old. Though long removed from Guam, the Archdiocese of Agania continued to pay the accused pedophile priest. Brouillard told KUAM he received $550 a month. In that same interview, he apologized for his actions. I'm sorry that it happened and I should never have allowed myself to, to uh, the opportunity or the time for such things. It happened long ago, and and uh, time has not healed me. I'm sure that it ever happened. Brilliard's passing comes the same week as a motion filed in the District Court of Guam by Joe R. St. Augustine, formerly known as Father Andrew St. Augustine. St. Augustine has made two motions demanding he face a judge and jury as soon as possible. In his filing, he states, quote, If only I am given the opportunity to be heard in court while I am still able to speak on my own behalf before I leave this world. The vast majority of clerical sex abuse cases in Guam is against deceased priests who can no longer speak on their own behalfs. Guilty or innocent, they are deprived of speaking for themselves, end quote. St. Augustine, who faces one allegation made by a Saipan woman, notes his deteriorating health as a reason to expedite trial. The church, meanwhile, extends their prayers to Brouillard's family in the U.S. mainland. Quote, we pray for the soul of Father Brouillard, end quote. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.